All right. So we're back on the uh, being your own roadside service as, again, I showed you guys this video the other day, but as I say, if you stay prepared, you ain't got to get prepared. I had a change of a tire the other day, and it had a flat tire. Now, here I go. I changed this one before. There was one nail in there. The next day, I got another nail. Another freaking nail in here. So, now I'm on the highway, and I got a situation because I took this tire off and put one for my Cadillac. But here, I got a situation going on here. I got a situation going on here, so I'm about to change this time. So due to the fact that the donut is on the other vehicle, I'm gonna go ahead and repair this here flat on the go. So we're gonna go ahead and pull this here on out of there. Look at that, look at that. This is just ridiculous. So we got our go kit again, and we're gonna get, get this here plug. So as stated, you get your plug kit, pull one of these through there. <sighs> Oh, the wind just blew my phone out the way. Once you get this through here, we're gonna deposit this in this here hole. So let me clean that out and then we're gonna get this here passed. Well, it's a good thing I keep my tool with me because the, the tool that I had in this here kit, apparently I left it at home. Good thing I had a spare in my toolbox, so we can get this here party started. We're gonna go ahead and spike this here hole. Get this here sucker. Spike. Spike. Where's my plug? There's my plug. This is what we call the onside repair. So now we're gonna pop that puppy in here. Hold on. Again, when you're out here on the fly, you gotta do what you gotta do. I didn't have any rubber, so you gotta make it lube however you can make it lube. You get the picture, as long as you get rolling. So, now I'm gonna plug up in there. So if you're always on the highway, Keep your eye on the road that way in case something comes your way that you don't see. Cut it. Cut it, cut it, cut it. And there your patch is fixed. Pump your tire up, take the other tire off, and get your ass off this here highway. Because this ain't the place to be changing the tires. And where did my tool go? You know, it's funny. Uh, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. So many drivers don't move the fuck over. Y'all need to learn how to move the fuck over when y'all see people stranded on the highway. I done seen too many accidents, seen people get hurt out here like this because people do this shit. They won't move the fuck over. Bitch, move the fuck over. Fuck ass people. Fuck you. Fuck you too. And fuck you. Tell the people how you really feel. Man, I had to double up, triple up, quadruple up, cause it's cold out here. Listen people, when y'all see people on the road stranded, don't be like this here idiot. Give them space, especially if you see a driver standing out there. Because all the taste is a flat tire or anything y'all got going on for you to lose control of your car and be done killed me. Oh, I had to come in here and get warm. Whew. At least I got the tire pumped up. <sighs> this is crazy, y'all. This is crazy. Now all I got to do is jack it up, put this wheel on, and we good to go. We good to go. Definitely getting some new tires this week. Again, in winter weather and cold situations like this, you always want to have yourself an emergency road kit. 
and be able to know how to get yourself out of your um, tight spots, be able to know how to handle yourself on the highway in case you have a blowout. Because I was literally doing 85 miles an hour when that tire popped on me. I was in the left-hand lane and I had to steer that sucker, keep it in gear, because it was And then, I just idiot. But nonetheless, y'all, let me get out here and finish this so I can get on home safely. This is how folks do. This is what I got going on. Thank you, bus. Thank you. This is how people do. Move over! Stupid ass bitch. I gotta pump this tire out. Now, normally I have my hydraulic jack, but unfortunately, we're out here on the road. And ain't got no hydraulic jack in here. Okay, I got somebody pulling over. That's a rarity. Appreciate that. He might be the barrier preventing me from getting hit. So I appreciate that shit. How you doing? So he's using his car as a human shield. And I appreciate that more than he could possibly ever know. That's what you call being humane. Because this is a dangerous situation. I tried to pull over to the rest stop, but as you can see, the tire definitely came up off of the rim. So we're getting it, we're getting it done. <clears throat> that was a brother. He sees I got it. He stepped for a little while, but he saw me got it under control. So as y'all see, I now I got the wheel off. That tire is demolished. I'm gonna try to salvage this piece here. Put that back over there. And uh, let's get this wheel on. Woo, I'm a lucky brother. I am a lucky brother. Now I can't keep this wheel on here too long due to the fact that it's the wrong size. The rear tires are staggered. They're bigger. So, I gotta have this addressed and done immediately. So let me get this on here. Yeah, I had an officer come up here. He decided to block me with his car. They had a passer by thought I fell under the car. They thought I fell under the car. So, nah, I was just trying to get away from those uh, cars that wouldn't move over. See, situation like this, make you glad you got your license and everything together because they definitely be running my plate and checking to see if I got warrants or anything. So I'm straight on that shit, but nonetheless, we trying to make it out of here, get to our destination safe, and get on going. <clears throat> oh yeah, they really thought that I was uh, fucked up out here. They called multiples. Thank you! At this stage, I just want it in there. I don't even care. Uh, so yeah, they got a call stating that they thought that I um, was under- Called out all the stock y'all. They really thought somebody got hit. So I got a whole fleet here. So I'm just about done with this. So y'all see what it is. All right, man. Definitely, definitely needed that. So y'all appreciate the help when you can get the help when the police are actually here to help. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I appreciate that officer. Yeah. Most people, yeah, I'm good. Most people need to learn how to pull over. They don't do it. I appreciate that, man. All right, they had me scared. I see why somebody called and said I was under the car. All right, man. Uh, Woo. Hey, y'all. Uh, when I say I'm cold, I'm cold. Thumbnail.
down there. 